Well, looks like I might have done it again. Brought another one home. Stick around if you guys want to see me get this old girl running. about we start off with a little bit of a tour while I tell you guys a little bit about the car. As you can see, it's not in half bad shape. Someone ran into something there until they just fixed it up real quick. It's not horrible, but they did run into something. What it looks like happened here is the window isn't sitting properly in the track and they put it up and it goes too high and then they close the door and it twisted on the glass and broke that. So I'll have to try and find one of those, but. As far as I can tell, the car has only been repainted once. It's still sitting on bias plies. Hasn't been on the road since 1990. The interior is absolutely 100% original, other than the carpet. Still the original headliner. It's actually in pretty decent shape. Starting to peel a bit back there. The mice didn't really get into this. The dash pad is kind of warped and lifting there. Read 16,000 miles and I believe it. If you look at that gas pedal, now it's hard to see. Yeah, let me go get some light. So yeah, if you look at the gas and brake pedal, there is like nowhere on that. Same with the gas pedal. So I truly do believe this thing has 16,000 miles on it. Underneath this blanket, there's a hole. Just cover that back up. It's not there if you cover it up, right? Back seat. This is a 58 Edsel Citation, so it has Power windows, power seat, power brakes, and power steering. Coming around to the back.
There's the plate and the last sticker, 1991, that's when it expired. I was told it was driven here in 1990 and parked. Need to find tail light lens, so that might be a little bit difficult. Overall, the car is in really good condition. Pop the hood for you guys. Try and do this. Not much has been touched under here. See the power steering, power brakes. The guy that I bought it from included a brand new battery. So that was actually pretty nice of him. There's the uh, paint line. Go ahead and pop the trunk. It's pretty rare for me, guys. It has a trunk floor. Not used to that here in Canada. Came with a whole pile of spare parts. Probably little stuff that's hard to find, so that'll be nice. Like that's just surface rust. Trunk bottom. It's not all rotted out like a typical Canadian car. Same with the door bottoms. Door cards are a little warped, but I might be able to straighten those out. See what's in the glove box. What's this? First aid tape. Wonder how old that is. New Brunswick. Yeah, we have some Canadian tire money. What year is that from? 1989. Anything else? Nope. It's nice to see no mouse nests, really. Everything's there. So this car, the story I was told, is from Arizona. And then from Arizona I went and lived in BC for a while. And then around 1990, the car came from BC to Ottawa. And then from 1990 to roughly 2000, it sat in a parking garage um, at an apartment building in Ottawa. And then the fellow I bought it from bought it in 2000. And uh, he just parked it in his garage. And uh, there it sat for the next 22 years. Um, until I bought it. Okay. So normally, if someone's been saying this long, you'd start with uh, barring the engine over. But I know for a fact that this uh, motor's been turned over once a year. Uh, the fellow that had it before me would take a battery out, crank it over every single year for the past 22 years. So I don't need to bar the engine over on this. Um, we're going to get the air cleaner off though. 
take a look at the carburetor. Just want to make sure the carburetor isn't stuck. No, the carburetor's stuck. Um, and now we want to check the oil. If I can find the dipstick. Hello. There it is. Got a new battery. It's actually over full. But it's clean. So that'll do for now. Over here, check the transmission. It's actually nice and red. That's good. Go ahead with the battery up. Positive. Negative. No big sparks when I put those on, so that's good. Nothing smoking or catching fire. Coil back up. The fuel line has already been disconnected, so we don't have to worry about picking up fuel from the gas tank. Apparently the gas tank's already been drained. So I'm just going to crank it over a bit, let it build some oil pressure. Cranks over pretty good. I'm gonna go grab some gas. Alright, let's fill the float bowl. See if she'll bark off. See if it'll light making all the noise. No, nope. that'd do it. Water pump shot. If it runs. Never tried. 
Empty. Right, I think the next thing to do is get the uh, gas can in here and hooked up to the fuel pump and see if it'll take fuel on its own. Just wanted to show you guys. All the rust that came out of the tailpipe. Surprisingly, no smoke. Very impressed with that. But lots of rust. Here's a chunk of fuel line. Pop that on there. That down here. It's where you guys can't see. Right beside the camera is the jerry can, so if things catch fire, you guys will be the first to see it. We'll give her another drink and uh, see if it'll start picking up some fuel. You can hear when the flow bowl starts to get full. Good news is it runs, it idles, and it picks up fuel. Bad news is it needs a water pump. That might be difficult to get, but uh, we'll figure it out. The bearings are shot in it, I can take the water pump. I'll just bring you guys in. That's not ideal. What's smoking? Just the exhaust. Burning off oil. It's all good. So let's start it up again. I want to see it feels like the transmission has gears and see if it has brakes. So, I don't know if the brakes work. We're gonna wheel chalk it. So it can't get away on us. Now let me see if the transmission works. And we'll check the brakes at the same time. All right. Fires right up. We have a brake pedal. We've got reverse. Neutral. Forward. Okay, we have a brake pedal, but the brakes don't work. That's okay. They're allowed not to work.
Got a little bit of smoke. All right, gotta shut her down. Well, I am very, very pleased with that. That was way too easy to make it run.